YouTube so this is going to be my daily face look you guys if you guys do want to know how to do this I makeup tutorial it'll probably be the video I post after this I did post this before originally or I tried to record my face routine and I accidentally deleted it so I'm doing it all over again so yeah with that being said I'm gonna go right into it I don't have any makeup on my face whatsoever it's just moisturizer so you can see the scars and the breakouts and the bumps and all that um i just put moisturizer so with moisturizer i'm gonna go ahead and use a face primer and um the pump on this doesn't work so i actually have to unscrew it but this is the elf mineralized uh, face primer which i find works really really well and is you know a bang for your buck so if you guys really want a cheap alternative for face primer this is great and I just take about that much and I go ahead and I just blend it all over the face wherever you're gonna put your tinted moisturizer foundation and stuff now lately or I've been using tinted moisturizers because they're really gentle on my face, especially with all those hives that happened um, recently. So I'm going to go ahead, but I'm going to start with the concealer first. And I know this is discontinued, the Dream Mousse Concealer. So I do suggest you guys, I'm just trying to finish this before it goes bad. But I do suggest that you guys kind of just go ahead and get your favorite cream concealer of your choice. And I just... Tap it with my ring finger under my eyes and any dark or spots that have really um, obvious like blemishes. But I don't usually apply this to my broken capillaries around the nose because I find that it shows it a whole lot more. So once you're done doing that, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because um, what I do is I tend to apply a creamy concealer over this. It's just kind of like a base for me to lighten it up. And I'm using True Match um, Super Blendable Concealer in uh, W5, which I'll post all at the bottom. And it comes with a brush, and I just kind of apply just a little bit of product on there. And I just do focus under my eyes, because I love that whole Kim Kardashian look. <laughs> And using a blending brush of your choice, I just go ahead and start blending that cream, creamy concealer onto that more mousse textured one. Just put it under to kind of cover my dark circles and I just do a big like triangle. And yeah, concealing and blending are very important to me. If you guys can see, it's doing that triangle again. I just kind of blend out that blemish as well. And whatever's left, that's what I tend to put on my broken capillaries on my nose. Any type of redness and stuff, as you guys can see. The concealer there. And just apply it on random red spots. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my tinted moisturizer. And my favorite, as you guys probably know from my last video, if you guys have watched it, is e.l.f. I tend to apply this much. I know it's a bit too much, but it's alright. And I use a really flat type of foundation brush and I go ahead and just dab it on my face gently and then kind of blend it in all over my face. And I don't worry too much if it's streaky. So if you guys see streaks, don't worry about it um, because we'll be blending that in after. Now I know this looks like it's a lot of steps, um, but once you get the hang of it, honestly, I have to say, um, it literally takes me five minutes or so to do this. Okay, the forehead as well. And you want to do the nose. And as you guys can see, it is fairly streaky. But we'll figure, we'll blend it out after I, 
I promise. And with whatever's left over, I tend to apply an extra just on my cheeks because that's where most of my um, hives were. And it may look a little cakey and shiny at first, but don't worry too much about it because we will fix that. So once you're done using all of that foundation, I have a lot of scarring under my chin. Well, tinted moisturizer, I keep calling it foundation. I go ahead and use the e.l.f. powder brush and it's just a really flat top brush. And I go ahead, a clean one obviously, and you just kind of stipple your way through the your face. So what this does is it not only blends that foundation into your face, you can actually use a sponge if you don't have a flat top. It pretty much does the same thing. It helps blend that tinted moisturizer in. And at the same time, it just absorbs that extra excess amount of tinted moisturizer or foundation. So just gently and take your time. I know I have some on my chin. Okay, and once you're done that, you get your favorite kabuki and your favorite translucent powder. Mine is the mattifying powder from e.l.f. If you guys can tell. And I go ahead and just sweep it on my T-zone first and just in spots where my face tends to get oily. And just apply the rest all over my face. Okay, so this is the fun start stuff. I get any brush of your choice and get your favorite bronzer. This is NYC and Sunny. And define those cheekbones. And I'm just contouring the face. Trying to put just a little bit onto the apples. Or not the apples, sorry. Just where my temples are. And on my jawline. And I kind of just blend it down your double chin here if you have one. Just to make your face or give your face an illusion it's slimmer. And go back and just divine that cheek, define <laughs> that cheekbone a bit. And if you want a darker contouring, I usually use the one from e.l.f. as well and it's this dark one and I take the same brush and I just focus this right here. You can suck in your cheeks, it helps. Just in that area. And then I like to use a nice stippling brush and apply a really rosy type glow. I can't really show you guys this. This is Rose Glow from um, NYC. And I just apply it upward on my cheeks. I have to tap it because it's broken. <laughs> And it just helps give me some color. Just kind of blend it out. And after that, this is optional for you guys who don't like to highlight, but I like to use Tiki from Hard Candy. Just use a clean finger and just apply it around this area just to give you a highlight. Okay. And it just gives you a really nice luminosity. If you guys want to do your nose, you can go ahead. But as you guys can tell, I'm still a little shiny as is already. And that's the final look. I hope you guys do enjoy this. This is the face that you'll see in majority of all my videos. So when you guys do see um, eye looks, please um, go back to this. This is the face that I use for all my videos. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, please ask me below or just message me. Thank you again so much. Take care. Bye.